Aha! Hi everyone! In the previous lecture, I did cover absolute risk reduction. In this lecture, I'm going to go over number needed to treat. So what is number needed to treat? So usually in the study, they want to find out how many patients they need to receive the intervention, the new treatment, in order for one patient to benefit. So number needed to treat is basically the number of patients that need to be treated for a duration of time. So this is a specific duration of time. It could be six months, one year, two years, depending on the research, depending on the study. So number of people need to be treated for a duration of time in order for one patient to benefit from treatment. So that's what number needed to treat is. How many people do I need to treat? How many patients do I need to treat in order for one to benefit from this in you? medication. And the formula for number needed to treat is, so I am going to refer to number needed to treat as NNT. So NNT is 1 over absolute risk reduction. And absolute risk reduction is basically, so in other words, this is the same as 1 over percent risk in control group minus percent risk in treatment group. That's basically what it is. So let's go to the previous example that I reused for the new drug A comparison to the drug B over here, which is the old one. And from this example, we found out that the absolute risk reduction was 0.15. Few things to keep in mind. When we are using the number needed to treat, so when we have number needed to treat, right? We said it's going to be 1 over absolute risk reduction. Over here in the absolute risk reduction, we can only use decimal places and not a percentage. If you use a percentage, you're going to have a way different incorrect number. Always remember, when you're using the 1 over absolute risk reduction, it's always this decimal place. So always make sure to use the decimal place and not the percentage. So over here, 1 over 0 0.15, okay, to find out the number needed to treat, it's going to be 6.66. So now I have a decimal, I have 6.66. So whenever we have number needed to treat, and remember, if you were studying for an examination, or if you're having um, an article that you're reading, whenever you see a decimal place after the whole number, so here what we're gonna do, we're gonna always and always round up. So we're gonna round up. So this is going to be seven. So what does this mean? This means that 
Very simply, number needed to treat is seven. So we need to treat, so this means we need to treat seven patients in order for one to benefit from the new medication over here, which is drug A. So to benefit from drug A. So this is what number needed to treat is. So this is it for this lecture. If you have any question or comment, please leave them in the comments below. And thank you for watching.